AI moves so fast nowadays, it's hard not to think it's all just passing you by. But it's not. Get ready to hop on board and strap in. This will be a wild ride. We'll cover what Gen 3 Alpha is, how it works, and explain why you might or might not want to pay for it. Keep in mind, you do have to upgrade from the free plan in order to use Gen 3. Is this worth paying good money for? It could be. But you guys know what AI is like. Sometimes it takes multiple attempts to get what you want. Some of us need like 1,000 videos and or images per month. And if you have to pay every time you try and generate a video, it can get real expensive, real fast. Don't get me wrong, it can generate great videos at times, but overall I would say, for most people, you should wait this one out. It's a pass for me right now, personally, because of the cost and hit or miss nature of the outputs. But your mileage may vary. Give it a whirl and see how you like it. These generations I'm showing you are awesome, but they're a highlight reel. Like I said, give it a run because for you, it might be worth. So what makes Gen 3 different? Well, Gen 3 Alpha is the first in a new series of models trained on Runway's cutting edge infrastructure built for large scale multimodal learning. It brings us one step closer to achieving general world models, AI that can build virtual environments and simulate future events within them. Wait, so if you're like me, you may be wondering about these virtual environments, general world models? Does this mean we can soon all finally play and live in World of Warcraft virtually? Oh geez, I can just picture it all now. Eversong Woods and Silver Moon City. Na grand. And Grizzly Hills. Oops, I got carried away there. I'm sorry, everyone. Let's get back on topic, shall we? We're not quite in Azeroth yet, but the aim of general world models will be to represent and simulate a wide range of situations and interactions, like those encountered in the real world. Runway did an excellent explainer video on the topic of general world models. Check out the link in the description to learn more about it. Here's a clip from it. Similar to LLMs, general world models are given a large amount of data, but not just text. It's also given videos, images, and audio, everything you'd need in order to understand how the world works. And with all this information, the models build out sort of a mental map for themselves. But the most incredible thing about all this is this part. These models have the ability to generalize its understanding to new and unseen data. It knows how to imagine the future based on its knowledge of the world. We believe that by training these models to predict the next frame or token in a sequence, the models will learn a much more detailed understanding of the world, including the whys and the hows, than the large language models. So, what does this all mean? It means that pretty soon, general world models will allow us to simulate worlds that more closely reflect our own. So with all this information, you might be wondering what can Runway Gen 3 Alpha actually do? Well, it can generate stunningly photorealistic videos from text prompts up to 10 seconds long. It can also create complex, imaginative scenes with dynamic motion and transitions. It can produce expressive human characters with a wide range of realistic actions, gestures, and emotions. Runway Gen 3 can also understand and replicate various artistic styles and cinematic techniques. Finally, it allows for fine-grained control over elements like structure, style, and motion. Alrighty, that's more than enough with the background and introduction. Let's head on over to the Runway Gen 3 Alpha website and give it a whirl, shall we? Their URL is runwayml.com. Once you are there, you can sign up for an account and try it out for free. I'll leave a link in the description if you need it. Okay, I got all signed up and I hope you did too. Let's click the Get Started button. And here we are. Welcome everyone to the Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha interface. <laughs> My first impression was that it looks pretty straightforward. You can toggle between the Gen 2 model and the Gen 3 Alpha up here. And down here we have the prompt box. Let's start off with something easy to test out Gen 3 Alpha's capabilities, shall we? I'll type, close up shot of a beautiful woman with straight black hair in the neon lights of Tokyo. And down here you have the option to change the length of the video. Again, let's start off easy and just choose the five second option. We'll click the generate button and next we'll be put into a queue and then a few minutes later and here we are let's give it a play and take a look 
Okay, I'd say that looks pretty darn good. Granted, I went easy with my prompt and the generation time, but I think it's mission accomplished. Close-up shot, check. Beautiful woman, check. Straight black hair, check. Neon lights of Tokyo, check. It definitely looks like what I asked for. And if I never saw this video before, I don't think I would be able to tell if this was AI generated or the real thing. Maybe a little with the tongue there, it might give away that it's AI. But it's a close-up shot, it's very detailed. I give it a thumbs up. But like I said, that was a pretty easy prompt. Let's give Gen 3 something a little more challenging, shall we? Let's type, 3D animation, a cat character wearing a witch hat is reclining by a sparkling pool. She brings a pair of shades to her face and puts them on. This prompt has a bit more detail, so let's see what Runway can come up with. Let's fire this one up. A few minutes later. All right, and here we are. Um, okay. So, it looks like we got our female cat character wearing a witch hat, but she doesn't seem to be reclining by the pool, but actually in the pool? Or should I say on top of the pool? She then sits up a bit, and, and a pair of shades magically appears, while both or her arms magically disappear along with her witch hat. Okay, what the F is actually going on right now? I have to admit, the animation style of the faces is so cute. I really like that. But overall though, I will have to give this a solid meh. If this was for work, I would definitely have to regenerate this to try and get better results. And keep in mind that each generation costs credits, which in turn costs money. And this goes back to exactly what I was talking about earlier in the video. My Gen 3 Alpha results were really hit or miss overall. I had to regenerate numerous times because of lackluster results. For one iteration, it took me about 30 minutes to get the desired results. Ain't nobody got time for that. Honestly, it started to eat away at both my money and my time. Sure, the quality is really good at times, but if prompt adherence is not there, what's the point? What do you guys think? Leave me a comment and let me know. Let's give Runway the benefit of the doubt though for this example and rerun it again at five seconds and see what it comes up with. A few minutes later. Alrighty, here's our second generation, but this time at a five second duration instead of a 10 second one. Let's check this out on the big screen. Okay, this time the cat is totally in the pool, just swimming and chilling, I guess. Not really reclining at all by the pool or otherwise. One I noticed straight away is that she's not wearing a witch hat. And when she pops out of the water, it looks like she's already wearing the shades. Again, I will say that I really like the animation style though. It's crisp, clean, and the quality is there. But that prompt adherence is just so not there right now. But don't take my word for it, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. And with that being said, let's try another example. This time, I will try and change up the prompting a bit. Let's go with a cinematic medium shot of a samurai warrior eating pudding. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's give it a whirl and see what we get. This time, I'll make both a five second iteration and a 10 second iteration. A few minutes later. Looks like it's ready, so let's take a look now at our samurai warriors, shall we? We'll start off with a five second one. I'll pull it up on the big screen here. And my first impressions are pretty good. I really like the background. And his robes look really cool. Okay, but that right hand of his is looking kind of questionable there. And is he actually eating the bowl? I mean, it can't be just me, right? It looks like he's taking an actual bite out of that bowl. But I guess there could be pudding in that bowl that he's eating. It's a little bit questionable. Let's go and take a look at the 10 second version now. I'll just go ahead and maximize the screen on this one. And all right, with this, I guess that could be pudding that he's eating, like vanilla pudding. But oh my God, what comes back out of his mouth once he takes a bite? Is that his tongue or some eel looking creature? I have no idea. But I have to say the samurai himself looks pretty good. The background is simple and seems to be done well. The robe looks authentic and at least the hands look normal. If you have any experience with AI image and video generation, you know that decent looking hands and fingers can be difficult to get sometimes, but overall I'd say this one looks pretty decent. The next thing that I would like to talk about is the Gen 3 Alpha Prompting Guide. It provides really valuable information for those looking to improve their prompting skills. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. This guide goes over prompt structures, 
sample prompts, prompt keywords as well as camera styles, lighting styles, movement speeds, movement types, style and aesthetics, and text styles. And one thing I would like to try for you all is the sample prompts provided from Runway to see what we come up with. As you can see here, Runway has provided three sample prompts, including one for seamless transitions, one for camera movement, and one for text tile cards. So let's head on over to the prompt box and try out all these sample prompts. Hopefully these will give you some idea of how to properly form your own prompts to use. First, I'll just paste the seamless transitions sample prompt that I took from the Gen 3 Alpha Prompting Guide. And let's choose a 10 second option for all of these. And I'll just click generate for that one. And next up, we have the camera movement sample prompt. And we'll click generate on that one. And finally, we have the text title card sample prompt and let's click generate on that one as well. A few minutes later. Okay, and here we have them. Here's the result of the first sample prompt provided by Runway for a seamless transitions effect. Again, this was generated by typing, continuous hyperspeed FPV footage. The camera seamlessly flies through a glacial canyon to a dreamy cloudscape. And here's the result of the second sample prompt provided by Runway for a camera movement effect. And this was generated by typing, a glowing ocean at nighttime with bioluminescent creatures underwater. The camera starts with a macro close-up of a glowing jellyfish and then expands to reveal the entire ocean lit up with various glowing colors under a starry sky. Camera movement. Begin with a macro shot of the jellyfish, then gently pull back and up to showcase the glowing ocean. And finally, here's the result of the third sample prompt provided by Runway for a text title cards effect. This was generated by typing, a title screen with dynamic movement. The scene starts at a colorful paint-covered wall. Suddenly, black paint pours on the wall to form the word runway. The dripping paint is detailed and textured, centered, superb cinematic lighting. So, as you can see, Runway Gen 3 Alpha has huge potential as to the quality of videos that it can generate. The question is, how are your prompting skills, and do you have the patience, time, and money to make it work well for you? Keep in mind that this technology is still early in development and will only get better, and probably cheaper in the future. So do you want to wait it out or do you want to dive in? The choice is yours. Keep in mind, if you do want to dive in, it's going to cost you. If you're interested in learning more, check out the additional links in the description. And with that, we draw to a close our Runway Gen 3 Alpha Summary, Review, Tutorial, and whatever else you want to call it. I hope you enjoyed it and found value in it. I'm just here to keep you guys informed on the emerging tech scene and to have the best, most honest information to make a decision with. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think about Runway Gen 3 Alpha and your experience with it. I'd love to hear from you all. Till next time, stay curious, stay informed, and most of all, stay awesome. This is G-Tier signing off.